If your computer is overheating and it feels hot to the touch, especially when you sit it on your lap, I'm going to show you how to clean off your computer cooling fans. And this may help your computer cool better and it won't be so hot to the touch. For this video, I'm going to be cleaning out the fans on this HP Pavilion. It works similar across the board with different makes and models. So let's get right into it. The first thing I want to do is you're going to re you're going to want to remove the cover. There's some screws at the bottom of the cover and you want to take like a putty knife, a plastic one, and you just want to pry it off after you remove all the screws. On this HP, you have three across the front and then you have a screw there and a screw there. So that's five screws on most HPs. It may be different if you have a Dell or any other type of uh, computer brand. Next, we want to move a few screws from the fan itself. We're going to remove one here. And we're going to remove one there. So I'm going to remove those screws. And I'll be back in a second. If you have a magnetic type screwdriver that works really good when you're removing these screws and if you can if you can possibly get you some white paper so you can see the screws after you remove them just place the paper under the computer it makes it easy to find the computer screws afterwards so here we have another screw so so far there's three screws that need to be removed from this particular HP Pavilion fan. So once I get this screw off, it should be ready to go. Um, this particular screwdriver that I'm using is from an eyeglass repair kit. So let's get this screw out and move forward. Okay, now that that screw is out, we're going to go ahead and gently lift up the fan. Here's your fan. There is a connector right here that needs to be removed. Or if you don't feel comfortable removing it, just gently lift the fan up. And as you can see, the dust particles from this fan needs to be clean. So in generally, what I would do if I had it, I would take some compressed air and I would blow the fan out. Or you can use a good old fashioned Q-tip to get some of the dust removed from the top piece and the bottom piece of the fan. You want to make sure this is clean as well. As you can see right here, there's a big thick piece of dust. You want to just make sure all that is cleaned out. So take a Q-tip or some compressed air in a can and clean your fan motor out. I'm just going to, for this, for this illustration, I'm just going to use a Q-tip and I'm just going to clean all of this out. You don't want to use, some people like to use rubbing alcohol. I really wouldn't recommend it too much because you're dealing with delicate, and I do mean delicate, computer parts. You don't want to wet these computer parts up and then have a bigger problem. As you can see, the Q-tip will remove some of the dust particles. So just get you a few Q-tips and go to work. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up. All parts associated with the fan and just run a Q-tip over it. Clean all the dust out, just like you're dusting in your house. You want to remove as much dust as possible. Have some guests over and they'll be like, ugh. So yeah, just look at it as housekeeping for your computer. Get all of that dust out because that blocks the port, the airports. And in return, your fan will run hotter. So we want to clean all of this area out. And a couple more Q-tips and just go to work. And you want to do the same with your fan. This fan right here 
I've seen some that was completely black. This one is not that bad, but it's still running somewhat hot. So, and if you have the air, you want to cover all this up. Just take a sheet of paper, put it on top and blow the air through the fan blades and get some of that dust out of there. You can also take your Q-tip, swipe in the inside, and you can see how dirty that Q-tip is. So I'm going to complete this process of cleaning it with additional Q-tips, get as much dust as I can off of this fan. And then we'll put it back together, see how it runs. But yeah, basically, this is all you need to do to clean your fan motor. It's just maintenance. If your computer is running hot, especially like if you sit it on your lap and you notice that the computer is extremely hot, the first thing I would do is clean off the fan. Get all the dust, get as much dust as possible off of this fan and the connector right there. You wanna make sure you go up under here gently and just gently rub to get that fan clean get these fan connectors as clean as possible as you can see this one has a lot of dust right in this area right in this area where the fan connects into the computer port so get that as clean as possible you don't have to be too hard when you do this you don't want to mess up any of the um, other parts so Get this all cleaned up, connect it back. See you in a second. Like I said, you can take a Q-tip and just, this fan spins. You just take your thumb, clean a certain area, spin it a little more, take your Q-tip, clean it a little bit more. If you don't have the compressed air in the can, you can just use a Q-tip like I'm doing now. And as you can see, it's going from Maybe you can see it is going from brown, covered in dust, back to black. So this is how you clean it. Okay, a few dirty Q-tips later, we're gonna turn the PC back on and see if it's any cooler to the touch. Okay, the computer's back on. It's actually quieter. And I let it run for a while and it's actually cooler to the touch. So it's not as hot as it was. So yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and share. And until the next time, talk to you soon.